A few weeks ago, from September 6, 2012 until September 21, the huge Swiss army of the Nazi Templars of Octogon had the military exercise Stabilo Due going on, based on preparing the military for police task, tasks concerning the flux of immigrants seeking asylum in Switzerland and concerning the social unrest in southern Europe due to the economical crisis. Now here we can see the oct octagon shape of the cheese. This is octogon. I suppose there's some more people who know now that this is octogon. The Swiss criminals, the uh, Nazi Templars. Octogon. where both problems were organized by the criminal Swiss banks anyway and if a citizen of any of these targeted nations knocks on the door of the origins of their sufferings, namely Switzerland then the Swiss Nazi-like reaction is aggressive and highly criminal breaking all human rights treaties you see the Swiss flags and the um, and the Nazi-like writing at the right bottom the Swiss banks offered a place for all worldwide dictators to put the money stolen of the national income of the oppressed people on a secret Swiss bank account so the dictator can buy more arms to terrorize his people and Switzerland attracted the richest people in the world not to pay any more taxes in their homelands and instead paying a fraction of that in some Swiss low tax region thus leading to extreme poverty in Greece and in Spain and here we can see the Swiss Nazi police who always target uh, immigrants and foreigners and um, but the real torture of course starts inside in a very clean Swiss way where nobody can see it and here the Swiss Nazi police they plant something um, in the foreigners bag they did it with me too they do this with everyone here in Switzerland it's the Swiss Nazi police, they do these things all the time. Therefore, to counter the consequences and human miseries of Swiss organized crime, military exercise Stabilo Due had to take place. Stabilo means stability, with loads of sarcasm, and Duo means two. Now, if there's a stability two, there must be a stability one, and it's this we should be worried about. The typical Swiss euphemisms as clean, neutral and stability in a country that never speaks out its real intentions. So in conjunction with the Stabilo Due army exercise at exactly the right moment on September 26, 2012, the Swiss government officially approved the construction of three large concentration camps, also referred to as Stabilo Uno, uh, Stability One. So here we can read the word, uh, well this is in German, and uh, here we can read the word concentration camp, there it is, Konzentrationslager, and in the beginning there's the word Katzet, which also means concentration camp at the top of the text here. So here it says they're going to build concentration camps. Nobody's going to do anything. Star ability, star below, or star luck. A star luck or straflager is the German word for concentration camp, as uh, the word for Auschwitz was a stalag. 
the Swiss say that to begin with they put the immigrants in there who don't obey the Swiss. The government, the SVP Nazi party and the Swiss people apply the word renitent which means to oppose the will or wish of another person. That's what the dictionary says. Or not, and, and not obey. Now here we can read it. We're going to build concentration camps. That's uh, the Stabilo Uno. So it openly says here in the Swiss newspaper, just as open as Adolf Hitler wrote in Mein Kampf about the murder of the Jews, that any immigrant who will not follow the will of the Swiss master race will end up in a concentration camp. That the Swiss must be obeyed. And with the Swiss Nazi Templar police and jurisdictional authorities, false evidence and false witnesses are traditionally planted in order to incarcerate immigrants as they did deliberately with Mr. Sean Ross on several occasions and thousands of others and the Swiss prisons are absolutely full with innocent foreigners in already existing Swiss detention torture centers where immigrants are being suicided by the thousands and many, many people have disappeared. So here we can read it. Just put on the pause. Yeah, slowly read it. Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Because Switzerland is so clean and they hide everything. It's so clean and they smile so nice, you know. Just as Hitler did, the criteria for ending up in a Swiss concentration camp start below, start luck. So just as Hitler did, the criteria for ending up in a Swiss concentration camp, Stalag or Star below, will be set down even more upon the moment of inauguration. So this is uh, what a German concentration camp looked like in 1933 in the beginning. Uh, it looked like a training camp in the beginning, the very beginning. Well, we all know what it, what it ended up with and how it looked like. So are we going to let the Swiss do what they want? Then together with Stabilo Uno, the construction of concentration camps in Switzerland, and Stabilo Due, the army exercise, there is Stabilo 3 or Stability 3 in Switzerland. The burning of asylum seeker centers as on February the 25th, 2010 in Kaplan, as we can see here. And uh, well, here it says it was arson. Twenty six people got injured pretty bad. So here we can see some of the injured people. And this year it's even worse. There were at least seven arsons in asylum seeker centers uh, and a lot of casualties. And here as well on January the tenth. This year, 2012, in Bermansdorf, Switzerland. It's a sort of a weird title, you know, like... Uh, it's the foreigners again who did it, you know. Well, here we can read it. So the, t the title says the foreigners did it again, you know, they can't behave. And here it says the, um, the reason of the fire has, has not been uh, concluded yet. You know, it's, all, it's always the same. They don't know how it started. Yeah. 
So this year again, one month later, on February the 13th, 2012, in Wilmergen, Switzerland. Um, many people got injured. About every week here in Switzerland, uh, immigrants and asylum seekers have to jump out of the second or third floor of a burning building. And the police always says, well, it happened in the kitchen. It's the Oriental cooking who did it. Yeah. So this is this newspaper here. You can read the dates. You can look. Oh, it is burning. Well, this is Switzerland. And uh, they all they all work together. The police, the arsonists, the Nazis, the jurisdictional authorities, the politicians. They all work nicely together in Switzerland. Oh boy, they like burning down things, you know. And a couple of weeks later, in the same month of 2012 in Switzerland, again on February the 22nd in Frauenfeld, Switzerland, another asylum seeker center mysteriously burned down. Here we can see it. See, this is the newspaper, you can read the date. And they never know who did it, you know, it's always the same. It was oriental cooking of the foreigners and the immigrants, because, well, you should do Swiss cooking, apparently. Well, here we can read it again, how the people were sleeping, but still the cooking was going on, they say, the oriental cooking, but they were sleeping. Yeah. Very lucky. Happens every week in Switzerland. So here we can see it burning. Switzerland burning. Of oh, the asylum seekers. Centers. Well, this is the real Switzerland. Oh. This is the real Switzerland. It's not a clean place. And here again, only a couple of weeks later, on March the 2nd, 2012, in Switzerland, Milan, another asylum seeker center burns down. And the big Swiss newspapers, they don't even mention it with one single word. It's only the Swedish newspaper, 20 minutes, who does so. So this is Switzerland, nice and clean and neutral, we never do anything wrong, at least, well, nobody knows it, you see, and here you can read it, not a word in the international media, but every week some immigrants have to jump down from the second or the third floor. And a lot of them, they got injured for life. Nice Switzerland. A month later, or two, again in uh, Switzerland, a fire in a uh, asylum seeker center in Landquart in Graubünden on July the 15th, 2012. And it's funny, here the police says it was arson. Usually they don't. Well, maybe because this is another canton. It's called Graubunde. It is a bit different. Uh, they're not entirely Swiss German here. I see. Uh -huh. And here we can see it again the, uh, the arson in Landquart. And two months later, again on October the 6th, 2012, in Hohenrein, Luzern, Switzerland. Another asylum seeker center burned down. And again, people got uh, sincerely injured. A guy had to jump from the third floor. Here we can see the date when it happened. Yeah, we can all read it. Just push the pause button. Yeah. 
And again, you know, it uh, must have been the oriental cooking. You know, I'll show you how it burnt. Here we can see how it's burning. Okay. Well, here we can see it burn again. And the newspaper or the police or whatever, you know, they're asking for witnesses because they can't find any. Usually, with any crime, they find they, in Switzerland they always find lots of witnesses. There's always some Swiss who saw it, you know, and he saw some foreigner doing it. And here, with these sort of things, they never find any witnesses. Well, here it says they're looking for witnesses. Oh, they won't find any. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know that. Uh, it's the laws of silence in Switzerland. Uh, they only see something when a foreigner did it, or not even did it. And there were many more asylum seeker centers being burned down this year with many casualties and wounded. To which the Swiss Nazi police only says that the arson was caused by oriental cooking of the foreigner himself and the Swiss left wing is non-existent as you can see on the picture here, you see the Swiss, the Swiss flag concerning human rights, they are non-existent non -existent, the Swiss left wing concerning human rights matters as they nourish the very same right wing idea behind thoughts as the rest of octagon the Swiss left-wing pretenders only differ with the right-wing about how tax money and BNP is going to be divided. Nothing more. The whole idea of concealing the real intentions of being transported to a concentration camp is very Swiss and not very German. So the victims don't fight for their lives. Oh, you just have to take a train there and then everything will be okay and you can eat have a bed and a shower and until the shower opened up it was too late and before that everyone had hopes you know. so here we can see some Swiss posters which are showing the streets this year there's even an email this is Switzerland you know somebody do something See the black uniforms and the guy with no hair, uh, Swiss Nazi police. The Swiss enjoy to play with the uh, victim sufferings, they really enjoy that. Switzerland is like next door's serial killer, who's clean, low profile, neutral, who's always smiling. There's a lot of social engagement for the community, like working for the Red Cross. But having a very big cellar 